Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use text, text box control in VB.NET Windows form application project. So open your project and you can see this GUI window. Now go to view menu, click on toolbox. Now from here, you have to find text box control, drop it on your GUI window and here you can see you can extend it if you want simply select it and right click on it for properties menu option here you see you have options such as text which is left blank you can use enter your name here as text message and it will appear inside this text box Okay. you can do this exactly with the help of code as well simply for form one underscore load method you can add this code as text box one dot text equals to enter your name here and save that text okay so either one of the options from properties or using code will work now what if you want to collect the content from this text box into a variable in such case simply type in var1 as string okay then you can use the content from var1 in text box one dot text okay and later you can also use one more control such as label just have to find it and drop it here okay and now go to your form here and use label one dot text equals to high and then plus var1 okay now save your project and click on start button okay by default it says hi and then enter your name here but you can change that simply by typing here Okay, and then you can use event to change this enter your name here okay so for that to appear you have to fire up an event so like most of the web application you cannot get that instantly on vb.net unless you use some other ways such as that you use in asp.net or for ajax application okay so for that you can definitely try that all you have to do is add one button here and fire up event and put that code of label one dot text into it let's try that let's find button and let's make it say something such as click right also we will change this here and for event on mouse click okay after mouse click we can simply add this Okay. However, you do need to know that the scope is within this subroutine, so we have to use that here. Or you can also make your var1 accessible by using it outside these two. Okay. Now, let's 
run the program and see how it works okay so I'm gonna type my name here and click on that and it says hi Mahesh okay so this was simple tutorial on how to use text box control for accepting some input from user so you can create a lot of forms and design your applications by accepting user input